Welcome back to my channel. It's Maria Nairobi. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Happy Friday, TGIF. I am in Maniac, PA, Maniac Philly uh, for dinner before my And they already are decorated for Christmas, y'all, for the holidays. They did such a good job. This is the most I've seen ever. And it's beautiful, though. So, yeah, we're going to Somo. I've been here like twice something like that we're going to see Wakanda a little later so I just wanted to get like a bite to eat um before the movie I took my hair out y'all like I'm rocking a puff um so I thought I would just get something good to eat before before um the movie because I don't I'm not familiar with this theater I don't know if they actually have like food food or not so my reservations at 8 30 we're a little late but whatever hey mama Here somewhere, I think. Good morning, babes. Happy Saturday to you all. I'm on my way to my hair appointment. I just wanted to come back and give some feedback on or a review of Wakanda 2. Um, I, we didn't get out of the movie theaters until 1 o'clock in the morning. So I did not get back on camera. I was tired. So I had to go to the bathroom so bad. But I hate using public bathrooms. So I was kind of, I was like holding it. But anyway. Um, it was good. It was definitely good. It was definitely Marvel. Um, it was definitely a feminine presence, which I'm all for. Um, it was long. It was almost three hours. Um, it was action-packed. It was emotionally jerking. <sighs> like I definitely felt emotional, but it was good. I would recommend it. Um, was it as good as the first one? I would say no, but I guess I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, because, I mean, Chad with Bosman is dead. So it's like, you know, they only can do what they can do. But even with that being said, like, it still was a really good movie. And I love that they put, like, the Mayans in. I guess that would, they would be the Mayans and, like, Aztec. They definitely had um, a huge presence in the movie. And I'm always like curious about that, like their histories. It's really interesting. But anyway, I don't want to spoil anything. But yes, I would recommend it. Um, it was so funny because the movie theater that I went to, I'd never been to before. And the, the chairs in like, um, what is it? The towards the chairs is like an incline. Like you can, you know, go back, go forward or whatever. So after a while, it felt like we were all like in bed together. It was so funny. <laughs> Like, are we all in bed together? Like, my legs all cocked up like I'm at home. Um, but, yeah. So, I would recommend that. It was really nice. Um, and I also wanted to review the food. So, I went to Somo prior to... Obviously, if you watched up till now, I went to Somo prior to going to the movies last night. And I've been here multiple times. And I usually really like the food. But I am trying to lose weight, y'all. Like, I need to lose at least 10 pounds. Like, I got back rolls. It ain't hitting. I'm unhealthy. I feel unhealthy. So, yeah. I'm trying to just cut back my portion. Like, portion control. And then also, like, the types of food that I'm eating. I really do love salmon. So, I'm like, let me just get a salmon dish. Let me tell you, I couldn't even finish my meal. It was, like, white rice, which I'm fine with. And it was white rice broccoli with carrots and salmon 
and the semen was totally dry. The white rice was, I mean, it was just white rice, but the, and then the broccoli tastes like they just cooked it with butter. And I'm all for butter, but it's just like, mm, like for the price of it, it's like they, I could have, give me some seasoning, give me something. So I was really disappointed in this. Like, I think I ate like half the salmon and um, half the salmon, most of the broccoli, and then like half of the, the rice. It was just really disappointing, but thank God that like filled me up because I'm always nervous. Like, we're not always nervous, but now that I'm trying to change my lifestyle with eating, I, another issue I had was I eat really late. So when I didn't like that food, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I hope I don't go home and just like tear everything up. <laughs> because that's my problem, but I didn't. So I'm proud of myself. And when I went to the movies, I did not buy anything. Not a water, not a juice, not popcorn. Well, I don't eat popcorn, but like not like pretzels, anything. So I'm proud of myself. But I know I'm like babbling on. I hope y'all have an amazing day. It's super cold in Philly. I think it's like a high 30 something today. Um, I'm going to get my hair done. I'm going to try to film as much as I can. Um, I'm getting a blend in, like an old school blend in. I haven't had one of these since college. But I wanted some lymph. I know I need a trim. But I wanted some lymph. And I had like a, over, a leftover, like unused bundle of 24 inch. So I said, can you just add this? Give you a little reels, reels. So yeah, I can go put you in the now. I'm so heading here, and then tonight I do have a fashion show to go to, but I still don't know what I'm wearing. Like it's been a whole thing. Like, oh. My creativity and motivation to be creative is at a all time low, <sighs> and I'm trying to build it back up. So I'm like, maybe if I get my hair done, I'm get my eyebrows done. Like maybe I'll get like the motivation. I need it. But anyway, y'all, I'm talking y'all heads off. I will be back once I'm at the hairdresser. definitely getting long my goal is to do like mid um i'm already at like bra strap length i want to get lower like waist length i know i'm going to get there i just got to keep going keep moisturizing keep protective styling keep low manipulation but yes i'm excited my hair is definitely growing um I wanted a little razzle dazzle, like I said earlier, so that's why I did add like the bundle of hair, which I think it blends perfectly. I don't know if it's coming up well. Um, so what I'm going to do, I do have some hours, um, about four or five hours until the event tonight, the fashion show. So I'm just going to go home and eat, and then um, I'll go home and eat, and then I'm going to get up and start getting ready or whatever. I still don't know what I'm wearing. I was going to go out and get a new outfit, but I'm really trying to save money and I have to slow down on shopping. Especially when I literally have so much clothes. Like, I have so much stuff. Like, I have no reason to ever, ever go shopping anytime soon. So, I'm going to stop. I'm going to fight the, the, the um, eagerness to shop. Anyway, when I get home, I'm going to flexi wrap my hair just so I can preserve my curls. And then hopefully it could take a minute. Hey babe, so I just got to the fashion, um, Philly Fashion Urban Week. It is being hosted, well at least one of them are being hosted um, at the African American Museum. So I am here. I'm definitely going to get some pictures of my outfit. My date is my mama. Um, 
good. They're running a little behind schedule, so we're just like kind of sitting in the car. We found really good parking, which is a plus, and it was only five dollars. You just had to pay the meter, so I'll take that. Um, I'm going to try to get some footage once we get in there. But yeah, I'm hoping for a, an amazing, creative night.
Tomorrow. I just want to say thank you to everybody that made this possible. It was a journey, but we made it. One more time, give a round of applause.